Now, a spreadsheet that you can use which is free and actually pretty good is the one from Google, and that's the one in Google Documents that you can access from your Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, just go to gmail.com and sign up. It's absolutely free, and once you log in, you'll see a screen like this. Now, at the top of the screen, there's a link that says Documents, so I'll open up that link in a new tab, and from the Documents screen, that's where I can create a new spreadsheet. So I'll come over here and go Create New, Spreadsheet, and now I'll go File, Import, and I'm going to choose that CSV file, which is the eStore table CSV file that I previously exported. So I'll click Choose. Google does a little bit of analysis on the file. That looks OK. And we're going to create a new spreadsheet, automatic separator. It'll pick up the commas between all the fields. And it looks good, and we'll just click on Import. So that file gets uploaded, and now we can open up that spreadsheet. Okay, and here's all our data. I'll just stretch this column a little bit wider here. Here we go, and we can see our prices. Here's all our $27 prices. So what we want to do is we want to increase all of our prices by 10%. So I'll click on this D column here and I'll insert one column to the left. And now what I'll do is I'll put in a quick little formula and I'll just type in, so this cell here equals, and I'll click on here, this cell times 1.1. So that means this price is now 10% more than the original one. So I'll just copy this cell and I'll just paste that down a few more times. Copy those three, scroll down a little bit from here, paste. Okay, so now I have all my prices in here, the new prices. So now what I want to do is I just want to uh, take those prices and copy them back into this column. But what you have to do is you actually have to paste the actual values because right now you can see up here this is a formula. So if I just pasted this value back into here over the top, that would get the formula. So I'm going to select all of these cells here. Here they all are. And I'll copy those cells. Scroll back to the top. Click on here. And when I go Paste, I'm actually going to use this one here, which is Paste Values Only. So now you can see there's Paste of 29.7 in here, as opposed to that formula. So we don't need this temporary column anymore, so I'll just delete this column. And the important thing to remember is that this column, when it gets imported back into eStore, because the price field in, uh, in eStore can, is actually an alphanumeric or just a, a variable string. It could be anything, actually. We want to make sure that says 29.70. So I'll format this column, and I'll just format it as number, and I'll format it like this with two decimal places. There we go. So now when I export this data, it's exactly what I want. Okay, to export the data, I'll go to the File menu item and click on Download as CSV. Okay, that was downloaded. Let's have a look in the Downloads folder. And this is what was downloaded. Let's have a quick look at that. And here we can see all the prices have been updated to $29.70. So that's great. So now we can load that data into our database. So let's kill a few windows here. Uh, we don't need that. Okay, let's go back to PHP My Admin. So here were the original prices, $27. So we we are here on this WP eStore table. So I'll click the Import tab and I'll choose the file. We want to choose that new file, which is the eStore table-1 CSV. Choose that. 
Now, what we want to do is, because it's got that header row with all the field names in it, we want to skip the first row, so I'll put one in there. And now this is pretty important. Sometimes you will have problems if you just click CSV. So I use this one, CSV using load data. So click that on. Let's scroll down a little bit. And we want to replace all of the data in this table. So I'm going to tick this checkbox on, replace table data with the contents of this file. Fields terminated by, let's change this back to commas because that's what it will be. And let's click the big go button. Okay, so now if we go back and browse that table, we'll see all the prices have been updated to $29.70. And we can go back to my WordPress installation and I'll click refresh on that page. And now we see all the prices have been updated to $29.70. Same as if we go into the Manage WP eStore, click refresh, and everything's updated. So as you can see, that's a really easy way to export the data out, do some changes on a lot of, a lot of um, product, products or rows all at once, import the data, and that's a really easy way to do it. Okay, so that's essentially it for this screencast. Um, but I just want to spend a few minutes showing you what you can do just in case you corrupt some data and you have to reload from backups. So let's just imagine, here we are again in this WP eStore table. And let's just say that we um, deleted a few of these rows here. So I'll just check a few rows and I'll actually delete those rows. Okay, so we deleted those rows and here we are. So we only have one row left, one product. Back into Manage WP eStore, hit refresh. And here you can see we've, we've lost everything except for one product. But it's no big issue because we have a backup of that table. So we can go back to phpMyAdmin and here we are on that WP eStore table. All I have to do is click import choose a file. I can either pick the original file or the one which we changed to $29.70. I'll pick the original one, choose that. Remember we have to skip the first row, so I'll type a one in here. I'll do a CSV load data load and replace the existing table data with the file. Change the semicolon delimiter to a comma. Click go. Okay, that's loaded. Let's browse the table again. And here we are, we have all, our, all of our rows back just as they were originally. Go back to Manage WP eStore. And we have all the data back as it was originally. So now I'll show you something else that might happen, quite unlikely, but just in case it does, let's go back to that Quadbo 5 WRDP2 database and let's just randomly delete some tables out of here. So I'll just delete all these WP eStore ones, probably even a couple of these WordPress ones. So with all those, I'm going to drop those tables. Hit yes. And there we go. So that's not too good. So now the site is essentially broken now. I'll do a refresh on here. Yeah, it looks pretty broken, but what we can do is we can just actually import that original um, database backup that we did at the start. So make sure you've got the right database selected. So I've clicked on here. I can just click import, choose the file. This was that original backup, the SQL file. So I'll choose that file and we don't want to skip anything because it's an SQL load. So make sure you've clicked SQL and we click go. This will take a little while to upload. There we go, everything's uploaded. Let's have a look at our database. We've got all those tables back. Let's browse that eStore table. Everything looks good. We can go back here, let's log back in again. And here we go, we've got all our data back. 
So as you can see, you can pretty much recover from anything as long as you have the backups. And the other thing is if something really catastrophic happens, um, we did that initial backup of the entire um, web hosting account. And you'll, if you have to get that reloaded, you might have to tell your web hosting provider and they will restore that for you. So as you can see, you can recover from any situation. So that brings us to the end of this screencast and I hope you now have a bit of an overview of PHP MyAdmin and how you can directly access and modify the values in your database tables. The main thing to remember is to be careful with what you're doing and always make sure you have a backup before you start making any changes. That way you can always restore the database if things go bad. I'm Kirk and thanks for watching.